guys today i want to show you how i prepare my native obono soup just stay tuned and watch this video to the end so that you will not miss any part of it hello everyone welcome to my kitchen came love kitchen today i want to prepare native obono soup and i want to show you all the ingredients i have here here we have beef dry fish stock fish crayfish, onions, red oil, seasoning cube, salt, ogilvy, black fish, black pepper, ogilvy. Here we have cow skin, bitter leaf. Here we have chairman of education, that is Obono. So here we have Buru. You will find this thing in Yoruba land, especially on those states. This is what we are using to step the native of Mono down. This is what we call Pupuru in Yoruba land. I don't know the English name, but I know it as Pupuru. So I will prepare it and you will see how it looks like, just like Fufu. This is dry, dry maize. Sorry, dry cassava. Where you will find this thing is when you soak your cassava in the water, you want to use it for Fufu. So the one that is strong that you cannot that cannot dissolve or you cannot use it again, you just sun it, you bring this thing out from it. So it's called purple. We are making use of native pot because we are cooking native abono soup. I've already washed very well, as you can see. Here we are using this native mortar or local mortar is my grandmother that gave it to me it's a gift from my grandmother and that's what we're making use of today you will find this thing in data state so let's get started cow skin i'm going to cook the cow skin very well because it's dry it is very strong as you can see with the meat already in the fire to cook both of them very well because they are very strong. I've already cooked the beef before. See again. The diced onions and seasoning cube. The cow skin is very strong and the meat is also strong. So they will boil before I add anything. I want to squeeze the bitter leaf myself. To add small water to the bitter leaf to enable me to wash very well. So you can see I've added water from squeezing with the water. I'm washing it for the second time. As you can see, there's no foaming again. Everything is clean. But I want to avoid the bitter leaf just a little. Just adding water to the bitter leaf so that I don't want to have any bitter taste on the soup. Just a little. Our meat is boiling, but I'll allow it to boil very well because I want to punch. Get all that things ready. This is the main chairman we have here, which is of bono. Bitter leaf so that the water will not pop out, so to not hurt your gas. So you have to leave it open until it boil. Okay. So this is what we have here. I'll wash the bono. Because I'm using it even. I'm washing it because of the dust in the market. Okay. Very dusty. The thing was boiling, I have to bring it down for stock fish and dry fish. 
the abono look like now. But we are still coming back to this. Let's move to the next one. So I'm throwing in the fish. The fish. I'm using hot water to wash both of them. Throw the stick fish and the fish inside so that they will marry themselves inside them. Everything will bring out their taste. Is inside, we need the dates finish and now. I want to find ogily inside the oven. Wash the crayfish, wash the oven. So, we are using water to wash the crayfish as well. Check our food before we get back to the abono that we are pounding. So now I'm going to add the quantity of water I need for my soup. So whatever I'm using will be shown in the description box below. Red oil to the abono, ogiri, and crayfish. So now you don't have to pound it first, you have to pound it gently so that the oil will not splash everywhere. Not a little. So you just be shifting it, moving it closer to each other, gather everything together. That's how you pound it so not with force again. I'm gonna finish now. I want to take it to the fire. You can see how everything gathered one place is not the one that was splashed. So we are taking it to the pot now. I'm taking the hot water because if you pour everything like that, it will not dissolve on time. You have to make sure that you dissolve the oven very well so that there will not be any lumps on your soup as I'm doing it. Now I want to transfer it to the pot. So see it in the black paper. So oh you cover it, allow it to boil very well so that everything will dissolve. Remaining seasoning cube that we have. We have not forgotten the bitter leaf is going right inside. Ready now I have to turn off the gas. So as I want to bring it down, this is the plate I'm using for the local pot. This is olden days plate. It has been long. I have this plate. My grandmother gave it to me. Our food. You can see the Abono soup is still boiling and it's still down and it's boiling so that's how you know your local abono soup. So I'll cover it, we wait for the hot water to boil so that we'll prepare the hot water with the people. You can see how they are doing the the popolo. I've already sieved the popolo. You have to sieve it to remove the chaff, the long thing from the cassava out. So this is how you do it. I 
drones just little by little then I will gather everything together just like the way you do semo but this one will not be in the pot again it will be in the floor that is the only difference Thank you so so much guys. Our native Obona soup is ready. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so so much. My native Obona soup is ready. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for being there for me. Please don't forget to share and like and subscribe to my channel and Kim Love Kitchen. Bye.